The time has come. The Fandom TV Championship after months and months is finally here. Uh, I am Jim Green, as you always know me, and with me is uh, my most hated of rivals because none of the other admins would show up to co-host. It is Nico Suave Regoli. Uh, Nico, how are you doing today, sir? The match between uh, your new BFF and dedicated to art and um, your less than BFF, uh, Eli McKay. Yeah, my how the tables turn after a few months. Uh, Eli was my guy. And then one day he just decided to turn on me. And now all the work we put in to get him here and he stabs me in the back. And now the guy who knocked me out of the tournament has become one of my closest friends in the community as well. So, uh, so it's, it's a weird situation. I'm not really sure who to root for because there's still parts of me that wish Eli would come back to the side of the light, but case uh, he's my uh, co-host these days. So part of me wants to root for him as well. I don't know. Part of me still wants the belt for me, but uh, nevertheless, we have these two here. We're in the finals and let's see how things are going to play out. Indeed. Indeed. Uh, let's not stay on us any longer. Let's hear, uh, let's hear from the two competitors. Of wanting the title match. I have finally gotten that match. And I was able to earn my way through it through a tournament. And right now, I feel like a sort of weight is off of my shoulders because I'm not carrying people anymore like I used to. I'm not carrying Zadius. I'm not carrying House Night Fury. It is just me. And it is me focusing on becoming the fandom TV champion. Case and I have a storied history, of course. Everyone knows this history. And it has been a lot of downfall for me. But tonight, that is changing. Because that history is in the past. And that history is being carried by House Night Fury. But now that I'm gone, I'm finally able to focus on myself. I'm finally able to achieve my dreams, beat Case Fornalesa, win a title, and I'll be doing it by myself because that's all I ever needed to do. I needed to worry about myself. And Nico is going to be judging this fight. Well, you know what? He can go away and act like no one exists because that's what he is nowadays. I no one. Case, I'm so glad that I'm able to face you because you're a worthy competitor for me. So may the best man win, and I'm going to make sure that I am that best man. All right, so I am in this final, and I still don't really know how, to be honest. Uh, Eli just talked about history. If history has taught me anything, that it is that I can luck out against competitors, and I know how to play the game. That's what I what I think I've shown. Uh, now this is a very interesting game today because there there are five rounds. There are two more rounds that I have no idea what they involve. So we'll see how that goes. But honestly, don't be surprised if I get knocked out after round three or four. I have said this throughout the tournament. I don't deserve to be in this spot. I still am. Uh, it's a miracle. I'm not going to win this title. I, at least I think I don't, because I just don't watch enough of these shows. Eli watches all the shows that I don't watch, and I probably also watches a couple of shows that I do watch. So, he, like, there are people in this tournament who have definitely shown they just know more. For some reason, I have managed to avoid those or outplay them for some reason. That's why I'm here. So I'm not really expecting anything of this. Nobody should expect anything of this, um, and, and that's not me... I'm not playing this character. Like, everyone is like, oh, you're just playing the one who thinks he's going to lose. Like how Silver Shamrocks won the Phantom title, I know, but I'm not I'm not playing anything. I honestly don't think I'm good enough for this spot. But I'm still here. I'm not going to throw this game. I'm, I'm going to do my best, but I doubt it'll be good enough. Uh, as Eli said, may the best man win. I think that's him. He deserves the title. He deserves a title because he's been... In a lot of things, and he's played very well in a lot of things. It's just, yeah, um, I've beaten him twice, which made sure that he didn't get to a title. Um, so, yeah, uh, third time's the charm, I'd say, uh, Eli. This one's for you. Good luck, and um, we'll see how this goes. 
some strong words there uh, in the promos. Eli seems uh, very spicy and ready to go uh, ever since leaving uh, Night Fury in the <laughs> 80s. Uh, and uh, the general, general Mr. Tim has arrived here in the match. Uh, Tim, what did you think of those promos as you arrived in the middle of them? Well, uh, I caught a little bit of Eli's towards the end. I don't really understand what's going on there. I get why he's here. Uh, I kind of agree with Case. I don't know how he's here either for TV, but he does have that luck of getting getting far. We'll see if maybe uh, he can actually jump over that last hurdle to get it get the championship. Uh, he had that stumble against Robert Fandom and, of course, in the team match. But we'll see how he does with TV in his Grand Admiral outfit. He has not washed since 2012. But um, so we will see how it goes. I can't wait to see this. I can't wait to see the extra rounds, Jim. I can't wait to see what you have concocted for these two poor, innocent people to suffer through. But let's see. Indeed, indeed. And uh, let Nico, uh, you kind of have attachments to them, like we said before. Uh, what what are your quick thoughts? Uh, Eli is still, I guess, kind of salty. I mean, we, we di I, I did everything I could for that kid to try and prop him up to where he is now. And yeah, now he, he I, I don't know. I don't know what to make of his newfound attitude. Um, Case. He got there because of plurality. That that's why he he's in this spot because I I pluralized an answer that was singular. We we and both have said this in private conversation. That's how it worked out. But here we are. Here we are. Indeed, uh, savage savages can the answers be? Uh, well, why don't you go ahead and introduce these two competitors you know oh so well? Introducing first with a record of three victories. And zero defeats, representing dedicated to art. He is the number eight tournament seed and the former singles and teams Phantom Fight Movies title challenger, the Grand Admiral, Cass Cornelese. And his opponent. With a record of two victories and zero defeats. Representing nobody because he abandoned his friends. He is the number two tournament seed and the multiplex gauntlet winner. The showstopper, Eli McKay. Thank you, Nico, and we will jump right into round one. We'll make it short and quick. The rules are the same as every other online trivia thing you have watched. Whiteboards, we ask them questions, they write them down. Easy peasy. Any questions from either of the competitors? Let's get this over with. Okay. Uh, Tim, why don't you give them their first question? <laughs> All right, their first question. Eli sounds like I do once I get off of work. All right. Uh, your first question comes in animated. Animated. Animated heroes, to be precise, but animated nonetheless. Who voices Princess Terra in season three of Young Justice? Season three is a very strong season of Young Justice. I enjoyed it very much. Uh, sure. Yeah, me too. I agree. Season two is a very strong season for... Uh, Multiplex too, wouldn't you say, Jim? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Four, <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. Uh, start with Case. Uh, pure guess. I know she voices things. Tara Reed. Uh, and uh, Eli. I said Tara Strong. Uh, Eli's answer is a little stronger. It is in fact Tara Strong. Tara Strong, mm. the ever talented Tara Strong. Uh, your next question is in Eli's strength of Smallville. Smallville. In what way does Kryptonite first appear in the series Smallville? Somebody save me. No singing. Shut up. Lisa, the <laughs> Don't sing. 
<laughs> no singing from anybody. That includes you, Eli. Five. He's the one can of I us who pop? can actually see. Three, see. Two. One. Pens down, Eli. Man, I wish I could have written the entire thing because I have more to say. But um, the entire answer I was going to say is, it appears this meteor is falling from the sky after the after the explosion when Clark is landing in the very first episode of the pilot. In case. I just sat in a rock formation. Uh, both are wrong. You don't actually ever see the kryptonite in the meteors. The first time you see kryptonite is on Lana's necklace. Lana's oh, yeah. Necklace. But you see the meteors, but you don't actually see the kryptonite within the meteors. Uh uh, Nico, give them their third question. All right. Your next category, gentlemen, is in the category of non-Netflix Marvel. And the question is, what hero was the star of the first Marvel live-action TV show? Uh, proud of the, I'm very proud of this question. Um I think yeah, I think I was there when you tested it. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, and I think I feel like it, th this room will get the groans that that room gave me. <laughs> yeah. Five. Because they're probably going to do the same thing we did. Three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, case. I have no idea. Captain America. And Eli. I said Blade. Uh no, neither one of you were ev even close. Uh, it was Spider-Man in 1977. Oh, son of a kiss my butt. Think out, you got to think <laughs> outside. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I was that far off. <laughs> Tim, uh, give them their next question. Yeah, you were closer, Chase. But um, in one of Jim's favorites, Game of Thrones, also a favorite case, oh. the broken man sees the return of what character after a lengthy absent? We know Case is a big fan of Game of Thrones. He always mentions it every time on Dedicated to Art, and sometimes it drives me insane. Not a big fan of Arthur Dane, though. Just, Not just, a big just, fan of him. Uh, five, four. It wasn't one episode. Three, two, one, the best scene in the entire series. Um, Eli. <laughs> the Hound, Sandor, the game. And uh, case. I also had that. They both have it, and they both are correct. Uh, your next uh, question comes from Fox Animated. Fox Animated. And this one is specifically Bob's Burgers. In Bob's Burgers, Bob's father ran a diner called what? Fox Animated, because we had to give Brooklyn something. <laughs> We had to let him be able to pick Family Guy in some possible way. Lucky there's a Family Guy. What no did we singing. tell you? Second warning. No singing. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, case. Pure guess. Archer's Diner. And Eli. Archer's. I, I said Peter's Pasta. Uh, the answer we were looking for is Big Bob's Diner. Big Bob's Diner. And Nico, give them their next uh, question from your favorite uh, Star Wars, but this one is specifically Rebels. Uh, yes, yeah, we're going to the galaxy far, far away for Star Wars Rebels, and your question is, uh, who voiced the droid Chopper in the Star Wars Rebels series? How many goddamn droids are there in this fucking galaxy? Two a minutes. lot. Two, a lot. lot. Five. Four. Actually, from really good ones in uh, New two, Jersey County. One pens down. Uh, case. Dave Filoni. Dave Filoni. Dave that is correct. That, that is, is correct. correct. Case and Eli, did you have Dave Filoni? I had himself. Chopper. Sure. Um, okay. That, that 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 was correct up until that they uh, revealed that they flown actually did it. Uh, uh, Tim, <laughs> give them their next uh, their next question. All right. In Arrowverse comes your next question, and your question is thus: Who plays Dark Archer in Arrow? We need the actor's name. 
this is something Jim has still, I don't think, to this day has seen, right, Jim? Uh, I saw that part where Manu Bennett was like on an island or something once when my mom was watching this. But other than that, no, I have not watched Arrowverse. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one, Eli. John Barrowman. And Case. I wasn't as far off as I thought I would be. I said John Leguizamo. Yeah. That would be interesting, uh, but John Barrowman <laughs> is correct, Captain Jack Harkness. Your <laughs> next category is in everyone's favorite anime. <laughs> anime. What is the name of Light's Shinigami companion in Death Note? Because apparently someone had to bitch about mine. <clears throat> You're welcome for it not being a Zoids question, guys. You're welcome. <laughs> no Zoids here. I can't really thank you for making that note, that note, that note question. Five. Yeah. Four, so fuck you, Jim. Three, two, one, bends down. Uh, Eli. I knew it, but I couldn't think of it, so I just said call out. And that's wrong. So move on. Uh, case. Uh, he probably has more written down on this whiteboard than I have. So. Uh, the answer we were looking for is Ryuk. R-Y-U-K. Ryuk. Yeah. R Y U K, yes. Uh, Played by Willem Dafoe in the film. Yes, it is indeed Willem Dafoe in the Netflix movie. Um, Nico, give them their penultimate question of this round. All right, your penultimate question, gentlemen. We're coming on down to South Park and meeting friends of mine. And your question is Vice President Al Gore tries to raise awareness about what creature in multiple episodes? I'm just not going to say anything. I, I don't think we should say anything at all because there are too many hints that could be given. No, yeah, but there's that. been so many creatures <laughs> throughout the series. <laughs> Five. I, I, will, I will say, this appears in the Imagination Land trilogy and it's awesome. Two, one, pens down, case. It's Man Bear Pig. And Eli. I was close. I said Canadian Bears. The uh, answer is super ethereal, guys. It is man bear pig. He's half man, half bear, half pig. Tim, no, 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 no. he's half man, half bear pig. Tim, give them their last full man question. All right, your last question comes in the commissioner's favorite of Power Rangers. If that was Nico, that's your third fucking warning. Last one. All right, your question. What is the name of the city that Power Rangers RPM takes place in? I would love to be on a single stream where just for once nobody rips on me for the entirety of the thing. We are not ripping on you unless you sing or make sound effects. Don't do that. <laughs> and we weren't ripping on you. We were giving you verbal warnings. Five, four, three. I can't win. Two. <laughs> One, uh, Eli. Just like your trivia career. Um, I said, I said Delta City. It's in wrong. case. I have pure guess. Metropole. What the hell? That no, uh, you guys were slightly off. The answer is Corinth. Corinth. Yeah, far up. Like Corinth, Mississippi. <laughs> R I N T H. Corinth. And after round number one, we are tied. Uh, three to three. What? Tim, what? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, we are tied at three to three, and we go into round two, which is the physical gym's wheel round. Yay! <laughs> Those are the best. Uh, Eli is the higher seed in this tournament, so he will get the option to spin first or defer your categories on the wheel with no spinners or opponent's choice picked by Eli, the higher seed. Uh, are Arrow, Star Wars, Smallville, Doctor Who, Dan Harmon, Power Rangers, Star Trek, Netflix, Marvel, anim and anime. Would you like to spend oh, first or defer? I want to go first. He wants to go first. And you can all see my terrible handwriting, but here we go. And it lands on. Star Wars. That does say Star Wars. Really? Yes. I only see Star on it, but... Fuck you, Tim. 
The spin, the second spin is in, and it lands on Star Trek. Star Trek. Oh, this could be tough for Eli. Um, uh, Nico, go ahead and proctor those questions to your best friend, Eli McKegg. Sure, sure. Mr. McKegg, your first question in the category of Star Trek TV is, who plays Gabriel Lorca in Star Trek Discovery? All right, is it A, Mary Wozman, B, Wilson Cruz, C, Jason Isaacs, or D, uh, Sinequa Martin Green? Jason Isaacs. Correct for one point. We also would have accepted blank pieces of wood because nobody can act on this series, but go ahead. Your second question, Mr. McKeg. The pilot of Deep Space Nine was titled what? No choice. All right. Is it A, Emissary, B, Past Prologue, C, A Man Alone, or D, Babel? Past Prologue. Uh, chance for a steal, Mr. Cornelisa. Is it Babel? Uh, Babel is incorrect. The answer we were looking for was emissary. Emissary. Nico, back to you, sir. All right. Question three in Star Trek. In Star Trek Voyager's Living Witness, the holographic doctor sees a museum exhibit that refers to the Voyager as what type of ship? Multiple choice. All right. Is it A, science ship? B, peace ship? C, Battleship or D warship. Warship. That's correct for one point. All right. Your pen ultimate question in the category of Star Trek. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna read a quote here and then I'm gonna finish the question. Quote a race that assimilates everything that comes into its way into a vast collective, unquote, describes what Star Trek race? The Borg. That's correct for two points. Big two points. And your final question. In The Measure of a Man, who represents Data's interests in court? Multiple choice. All right, is it A, Spock, B, Commander Riker, C, Commander Maddox, or D, Jean-Luc Picard? Jean-Luc Picard. Correct for one more point. Engage one more point to Eli. Uh, Eli's round, he is up eight to three with Case's spin on deck, and Case's first spin is in. And it is. Oof. Anime. Yeah, that's better. Here. Anime. <laughs> One away from his beloved Star Wars. Jim spinning that like he stole it from Henry. Ooh. Except my wheel doesn't fall apart. <laughs> Thrones. Game of Thrones. This, this is my luck. This is my luck. Cornelise. And I will be proctoring those questions because Game of Thrones. <laughs> Your first question in Game of Thrones. What English actor plays Tycho Nestorid, a banker at the Iron Bank? Oh, um, I need multiple choice for this. Is it A, Stephen Fry, B, Finn Jones, C, Rupert Graves, D, Mark Gatiss? D? D. Margatus is correct. Your next question. When Sam meets Bran again in season seven, Bran claims John's real last name is what? Targaryen. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Correct. Huh? Eli with a chance to steal. Wait. 
Repeat the question. Okay, we're going to give you a full repeat uh, JTE rule. It's not a JTE rule, mm -hmm. it's just a repeat. When Sam meets Bran again in season seven, Bran claims John's real last name is what? Real last name? Oh. Yeah, it's Five. Been a while since it's yeah, I, I, I know it. <laughs> Two. Yeah. One Stark. No, Sam. it's sand. Sand because Bran believes he was a bastard born of the South. Uh, your next question, uh, case. What was the last episode written by George R. R. Martin? Oh, this is... I need multiple choice. Is it A. The Lion and the Rose? B. Valor. C Baylor, Baylor, Baylor. C Garden of Bones. D the door. The door. That is incorrect. Eli with a chance to steal. Can I get a repeat on the choices? Just the choices. Yes. Is it A the line in the rose? B Baylor. C Garden of Bones. D the door. Is it A? A, the line in the rose is correct. Case, your penultimate question in Game of Thrones. What is the second city in Slaver's Bay known as the Yellow City that Daenerys visits? Yunkai. Yunkai is correct for two big points. He definitely needed those. And your final question in this tough Game of Thrones round. What is the name of the woman who Ned tells Robert is John's mother? Shit. What are the options? Uh, multiple choice. Is it A, Wyla, B, Talissa, C, Ashara, D, Elia? Wyla. Wyla is correct for one big point. And after round number two, the score is Case 7 and Eli 9. A big one-point steal for Eli in that Game of Thrones round. And we move on to round number three, which gets real fun because it's a round that I came up with. And oh what is going to happen is we will click onto me. We will click onto me. I'm going to drag an image over and ask for two things about the image. Uh, each is worth one point. There are no uh, losing of points in this round. Uh, just answer. You will give you two things, and you have to answer uh, both of them, whiteboards for both of you. So you'll both be answering at the same time. Are you both ready? <coughs> yes. Okay. Let me bring up the first image here. Please don't let it be anything inappropriate. This is a family show, Jim. There are no inappropriate things except your face, Tim. Uh, okay, your first image. Uh, Can you see the image? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. You, the two things that we need on this one is what is the name of the show and what is the name of the character? Would you accept cartoon and swords? Uh, unfortunately, no. Damn. And this is one point apiece for yeah. each one, right? Okay. Yes, five. Four. Interesting three, round, Jim. Two, one. Eli, we'll start with you. Okay, I said the show is Attack on Titan, and for the character, I said Air. Uh, and Case. I said for the show, Naruto, and that's it. <laughs> Oof. Uh, Eli picking up a big one point. The show is Attack on Titan, and the character is named Levi. Uh, Bye. Okay. Your next image is the person, the uh, female standing with Lois, not Lois. Don't get cute. Uh, we need the name of the character and who voices the character. I think this question popped up in 
a match I had with Brooklyn and Linus Babcock over in Full Metal. So perhaps, perhaps indeed. I think whoever's talking to Lowe's is pissed off. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We start with a uh, case. It's Bonnie Swanson, voiced by Jennifer Tilly. And uh, Eli. I got the character wrong. I said Lisa, but I said Jennifer Tilly. You got, you said Lisa for the character. Okay. Uh, yeah. It is Jennifer Tilly voicing Bonnie Swanson. So two big points for Case and only one point <laughs> for Eli. And your final, final character. Uh, and for this one, we will be asking for three things. So this is big points on this question. Um, one second, click into here again. Okay. So your final character is, we need the show, the character, and the actor. The show, the character, and the actor. Uh, okay, we got a little bit of time for this one? Yes, you have a little bit more time. Again, the show, the character, and the actor. Interesting round, Jim. I like it so far. This is their final one. This is their final one. Oh, yeah. Still a good round. I like it. Okay. And back to my beautiful face. Ah! Five, oh, sorry. Four. <laughs> three. Two. One. Pens down. Eli. Okay. Show. Star Trek Next Generation. Actor. Will Wheaton. I couldn't think of the character's name, so I said Will Crusher because I know his last name is Ooh, so close. <laughs> and Case. In Star Trek The Next Generation, it's Wesley Crusher and played by Will Wheaton. Case gets the three points, but still two points for Eli. Wesley Crusher played by Will Wheaton from The Next Generation. And that brings us to a one-point game <laughs> going into round number four. Four, which I have called the ladder round. Why is it called the ladder round? Because these two competitors are trying to climb up to the score of five to get three bonus points. The first competitor to get to five points will get three bonus points. There are 10 uh, drafted categories from both of these two, so they know what all of the categories are, but not what number they are correspond to. They will, pick, they will take turns picking a number between one and 10, uh, and then they will both get the same question, and they were answer on, uh, answer on their whiteboards. Uh, no points for no point deductions, <coughs> any points in this round. Um, any questions from either of the competitors? So we got all ten questions. No, it's go until somebody hits five. So if you, if one of you gets five uh -huh. five questions, then it ends right there. Uh, whoever does not, whoever finishes with lesser points does not lose their points. They get to keep their points. Um, so, right. Eli, you are in the lead. What will be your <coughs> number that you pick between 1 and 10? Lucky number 3. Lucky number 3. Tim, tell him what category he's picked. All right. For number 3... Eli, you have picked Arrowverse. And go ahead and give him the question, Tim. Okay. Your question. How many versions of Harrison Wells have we seen die? In the flash. In the flash. In the flash. Sorry about that. That's fine, Jim. I, I won't insult you like you do with my mis mispronunciation. Um, because one is a uh, bad copy paste, the other is you not being able to read. Uh, <laughs> five, you. four, three, two, one. Uh, Coke. Like Coke. Case, we'll start with you. Pure guess, three. And Eli. Two. The answer is two. Harrison and HR. Harrison and HR. Uh, a point for Eli. Um, Case. Pick a number between 1 and 10 that is not number 3. 4. 4. And that is Avatar The Last Airbender. Avatar Ooh. The Last Airbender. 
right. Do you mind if I ask this one? Uh, I'm going to change it up slightly, so I, I'll, I'll ask <laughs> the next one. Okay. Uh, according to Avatar Roku, he and Fire Lord Sh Sozin shared many things, including what day? I think a great majority of us on this panel will agree that Avatar was a great show, not a great movie. Sure. I can't sure. wait for the live action Netflix. Are, are, we, are, are we talking about Avatar by James Cameron or The Last Airbender? Two. One pens down Eli. I said birthday. And case. It's also what I said. Birthday. They did share a birthday indeed. Um, and we jump back over to Eli. Eli, pick a number between one and ten. That is not three or four. Three plus three is six. So six. <laughs> Category number six was the category of Power Rangers, specifically Lost Galaxy. And your question is, what ranger dies and is later revived in Power Rangers Lost Galaxy? We All we're looking for is the first name. Not uh, uh, the uh, ranger uh, color because when I asked this in testing, everyone just said a ranger color. Ah. Uh. Well, that I'm and Case's hopes and dreams just died a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> At least I can guess a color, but <laughs> a good luck guessing this name. Sorry. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, Tim, pick one. Uh, let's start with Case. Pure guess, Ramsey. That is incorrect, Eli. Kendrick Morgan, the first Pink Ranger. That is correct. Four point. Eli taking a two point lead, three to one. And Case, you get to pick a number this time. Seven. Seven. And I think this one's going to work out for you because it is Star Wars Rebels. Star Wars Yay. Rebels. Hera and Kanan's son is named what? I already know Case knows this. <laughs> I have a theory about this guy. I I would imagine Case knows I'm this. Gonna, but, you know. Case does know this question. I'm just gonna give him the fucking point because uh five, four, three, two, one, uh case. Jason Sindula. And uh Eli, did you write that down? Nope, I just wrote read you. <laughs> uh and case gets another point. Um so we will jump back over to Mr. Eli. Pick another number, sir. Okay, another number, not three, four, seven. <laughs> seven out to number five. Number five is All right. Tim. Number five, Netflix, specifically Netflix Marvel Daredevil. All right. Hmm. I've been getting lucky. And <laughs> And your question. The season finale of season one is titled what? All three great seasons of Daredevil. Rest in peace. Eli sitting at three, Case sitting at two. Who will get the three extra points? Find out next week on Dragon Ball Z. Oh, wait. Five, four. Three, two, one, pens down. We start with Eli. The Devil of Hell's Kitchen. And Case. Kingpin. Uh, Case was a little more on the nose, so he was closer. It's just called Daredevil. Huh. Oh. Nice. Just called Daredevil. <laughs> See, I thought it was something close, so I went with the nickname that comes with me. Okay, uh, Case, it goes back to you. Your numbers remaining are 1, 2, 10, 9, 8. 1. Uh, Nico, go ahead and <laughs> tell them what they got. All right. You said category number 1. That yes, is one. Spectacular, Spectacular Spider-Man. And your question is? 
The series story arcs of Spectacular Spider-Man are named after what? This is one of the tougher questions of this round. Yes. Funnily enough, they have some of the easier questions that they have not picked. Funnily? Is that a word there, Joe? Yes, funnily. Ah, oh, funnily. Yeah, I don't think it is. I'm going to call bullshit. F-U-N-N-I-L-Y, funnily. I wouldn't be yeah. surprised if that word was used in a document we've written, though. Um, five, four, three, two, one, case. Family relations? I don't know. And Eli. High school classes. High school classes is correct. Biology mm. 101, economics 101, chemistry 101. And Eli pulls within one of that <coughs> bonus point points, and he gets the choice two, eight, nine, ten. Two, eight, nine, or ten. Two is South Park. <laughs> South Park. The episode Guitar Quiro is about the boys being obsessed with what video game? Oh. Uh, Not the one Randy is obsessed with. <laughs> Five. Four. Repeat Three. the question. First repeat for case. The episode Guitar Quiro is about the boys being obsessed with what video game? It's so goddamn obvious. Like, come on. <laughs> Five, four, three. I wonder if these people have played this game. One pins down case. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's Guitar Hero. And Eli. Guitar Hero. And Eli gets to five and gets the bonus points. The round ends. And with <laughs> bonus points, that gives Eli a commanding score of 15 to 21 headed into the final round, which everyone is very familiar with. Uh, it is the betting round. The competitors will get the category name, and uh, then they will get to bet zero to two points on it. Um, everyone's played this round. Everyone knows this round. Um, let's just get right into it. And, uh, Nico, why don't you give them their first category to bet on? Guys, your first question in round five is in the category of the Arrowverse. And your question is... No, so, how many points? Oh, oh, that's... Oh, right. Oof. How many points will you guys be betting? Another Malcolm situation, Jim. <laughs> He's a little too eager McBeaver. Eager McBeaver. It's been a while since I've been at the desk in this league. Uh, you guys both seem good. Uh, Eli, how many are you betting? We say one. Only one for Eli. And uh, Case? I'm even safer. Nothing. Uh, okay, Eli. Way long for stats purposes. All right. <laughs> Flashbacks to my first TV fandom match. First, uh, second, third, fourth. And Nico, go ahead and give uh, Eli his question. All right, Eli, since you're playing by yourself, uh, your question is, what character narrates the episodes Turncoat and Moonshot? And, of course, Case, you can play along for staff purposes. Please, uh, because I'm sure you will know this. I hope so. Knowing case he's writing a joke answer. No, no, I actually have something. Four, three, two, one, pens down, sir. And what did you get, uh, case? Amanda Waller. I don't know. Uh, close, but no cigar. Uh, Eli. It's not Oliver Queen because of the fucking That is incorrect. Uh, Nico, what was the answer? The answer was Heatwave himself, Mick Rory. Yep, that's a guy named Heatwave. Yep, that's what I knew. You know, I knew what was you know what's, that was funny. My other answer was Victor Garber. Um, 
Yep, that is funny because I get the reference because I've watched all the Arrowverse shows. Uh, your next category to bet points on that I'm not going to immediately give you the question for is Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. And your question. No, no, we won't do that. <laughs> <sighs> it happens to everybody, Nico. It does. Uh, Case, what will you be betting? I have to bet two. And Eli. Oh, no. How many? How many? Is One. One. One and two. Okay, your question is thus. What is the name of Catelyn Stark's father who dies in season three? I thought it was Caitlin Stark. It's Catelyn. It's spelt Caitlyn, but it is Catelyn. Ah, okay. Four. Repeat the question. I'll repeat for case. What is the name of Catelyn Stark's father who dies in season three? So many people die in this show. Five. Four. Three. Two. One pens down Eli. I said a Vander Tully. And case. I did not have anything. The answer is Hoster Tully. Lord Hoster <laughs> Tully. <sighs> what an amazing last round. <laughs> uh, Tim, why don't you give him this next one? All right, your next category to bet points on is Power Rangers. I see Jim's trying to do a thing with me. <laughs> I, I'm only doing it because I love you, illiteracy and all. <laughs> uh, they both seem ready. So Eli. let's go to, yes, Eli. One point. One point. One point. Eli and Case. Zero. Zero for Case. Okay. Eli, it is on you. But Chase, feel free to play along. First hat purposes. Your question. In Lightspeed Rescue, Ryan, the Titanium Ranger, is revealed to be the brother of what ranger? We need the name of the ranger. Just and, the first one. And the color. The name and the color. The color. Okay. Well, I know her color. We that was what happens after this question. We never said it was a woman. <laughs> Five. Four. Yeah. Guys can be pink rangers, Eli. Don't be sexist. One pens down. Um, Eli McKay. No, Case, what did you get for your stats purposes? Yellow. Uh no. <laughs> and Eli. Well, I couldn't remember her name, so I just said Amber, but I know it's the Pink Ranger. Uh, Amber is not her name. It is Dana the Pink Ranger. Dana Mitchell. Do I get half a point? Uh, no. Unfortunately, we don't do half points. Uh, and your question, which could be the last, is animated heroes. Animated heroes. Now, let me just give you guys a score update. Eli is at 18, Case is at 13, so might want to bet big. Thank you, Nico. Nico with the strategy uh, announcement. Uh, <laughs> Case, what are you betting? I'll just bet two because, you know, why not? And Eli. I'm going to continue my streak with only betting one. Okay, one. This is actually a huge question because if Case hits it, and Eli misses it. Case will be within two. Your question. What famous actor voiced J. Jonah Jameson in Spider-Man, the animated series? Ooh, good question, good question. I'm glad I was a fan of this show. I have a feeling Eli knows that Casey, you do have one more repeat. Five. Four, three, two, 
one, no repeats. Case, what did you get? I don't know. J.K. Simmons. And Eli. This man would later go on to play Uncle Ben in the Spectacular Spider-Man series. It is Ed Asner. And your winner and the new Fandom TV Championship champion, I'm illiterate like Tim, it is Eli McKay. Wow, a big time match. No, no, uh, Four round KOs like Case predicted. Uh, wild match up until the end. Um, Tim, what did you think? Good sir. Um, very. I mean, it was very close. Both of them kind of tripped going out of the gate in round one. Both of them made up for that with round two going four for five. And then in round three and four, both of them seem to do very well, but it just came down to round three, like it always seems to do, and that's what you want for a championship match. Case proved that he deserved to be in this match. Uh, round three just didn't go his way, but you know he proved why he's in this match. Well, round or round five, I mean, but um, you know he proved why he was in this match. Uh, Deserving to be in this match, but Eli just coming out, gaining the gold uh, in at least one fandom division. I know he wants the fandom regular title, but he has the fandom TV title right now. Awesome, Tim. Yeah, I agree. I definitely agree. Uh, but let's uh, get Nico's quick thoughts and his interview with the new champion, Eli McKaig. Nico, take it away. Um, yeah, I always knew Eli had this kind of potential in him for greatness. Uh, he didn't have to go to the dark side, in my opinion, to reach that greatness. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, he didn't have to go to the dark side. Oh, he didn't have to go to the dark side. This is all I'm hearing. It's just Nico whining all the time. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nico, for the love of God, please shut up. You are trying to divert the attention from me. The champion, the fandom TV champion. Hmm. I really like the ring of that. Here is the fandom TV champion, Eli K. Something I was able to do without being a part of House Night Fury. Wow, who could have believed that? I was able to get a championship without you. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I know for a fact that I'm smiling from ear to ear. Woo! This is, oh, this is just so riveting, so fascinating. But yes, it's true. I have gone to the quote unquote dark side, but it has given me so much. You see how it's like in Star Wars, once you turn to the dark side, you get glory. You become the person with all the power. And now I have the glory. I have all the power. And what do you have? A sad look on your face, like a little puppy dog, trying his hardest to get his owner to recognize him. But that's not going to happen, Nico. So do you have any relevant questions for me? No, actually, I do not. So enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the title. Enjoy, enjoy the title. Part of me still actually wants to root for you, to be honest with you. And part of me still hopes that you actually go on to fulfill your dreams and beat Robert for that fandom title. Cause you were my friend, you were my friend. Uh, and I, I was cheering you on the whole way through un until you stabbed us in the back until you stabbed us in the back. So, so you call it stabbing in the back. I call it releasing dead weight off my shoulders because I realized that you guys were constantly weighing me down. And now, look, I'm a champion. And what are you guys? You're nothing. When I see Zadius with that TV championship, all I'm thinking about is he would be so much better without you in House Night Fury. So enjoy that little run while you can because someone's going to take it off if he keeps you well, I'll, I'll end on this then. It's lonely at the top when you've got no friends at the top with you. Zad is my friend. He's at the top. 
And I'm happy for him that he's got all the spotlight in the world on him. And I, I'm going to root for him the whole way through. So enjoy your title reign. Zaz going to enjoy his title reign with the friends he has. Meanwhile, you're going to enjoy yours with literally nobody by your side. So think about that. Uh, a heated exchange, uh, to say the least. Uh, uh, Tim, I'm just going to go ahead and toss it straight to you and to uh, interview uh, the unfortunate loser, uh, Case Cornelese. All right. Coming out of that, Case, you, you came close for it, uh, but you came up short with this. How you feeling after... This is now what your third title opportunity now with multiplex with fandom yeah. and singles and teams yeah, and now I've lost all. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, within a within the first year of you in this, that's three title opportunities. That should say something that you do know your shit to get to that point. Yeah, and I still wonder why I wasn't voted Rookie of the Year, but that's up to the people who apparently don't know shit about what actually happened. But sure, um, you know, I am actually proud of how I did in this tournament. I cannot believe that I went to question four of round five in this match against Eli. Um, and I honestly think that it could have been even closer, that the title may have been mine, if round four was different, because I don't think I agree with uh, the rules of round four. The fact that the one first getting to five gets three bonus points, that's a big advantage. Um, but yeah, that, that's rules that people made up for the first time for a title match. So I can't be too mad at it. And I knew it going in that it probably would not be good for me, whatever. Um, I'm still proud of how I did today, how I did in this tournament overall. Uh, the people that I've beat, I actually managed to beat the number one seed, his former teammate. Uh, so that shows, I think, that Eli made the right decision, uh, dumping uh, dumping the dead weight, because that's also the reason that he lost to me uh, and Chris in the team uh, match that we played in. Because honestly, yeah, uh, Eli is the better player of those two. And it shows. Uh, it shows today he is a champion now. Uh, and I think that uh, I'm going to face him again. I'm going to enjoy that because he's a great competitor. He deserves that title. Um, he, he, as I said before the match started, he deserves a belt, period. Now, he has one. Congratulations, Eli. Um, I do want a belt. Uh, I've been close three times. Um, but, you know, uh, I, I, I'm still going to continue in fandom um, singles and teams. I actually have a pretty good shot at singles, I'd say, uh, coming up. So we'll see how that goes. Well, I would say, especially with after this match with Fan TV, you do have a pretty good shot getting back to that title picture. Uh, eventually, I mean, three three and one, finishing the second place of the tournament for this whole thing to get started. So, I mean, I can see you coming back against Eli uh, eventually, probably with not too much effort. I would say after the way. Everything falls into place after this tournament. A three and one record. That's still very good. And you know, you you did it, especially. And also now after this match, holding the new points record in fandom TV. So that's a record that you will hold and hopefully build on to make sure people don't take that from you. But um, what I know you probably want to face. Eli again eventually down the road. Is there anyone maybe you're eyeing after this tournament to want to get in the ring to face after this? Maybe to bounce I, back? I, I, actually, I think that there has been a match confirmed. I'm not entirely sure about that. Uh, between two competitors on this call. Uh, I'm not sure if that is uh, Nico versus Jim, which should happen because they uh, were both the losers of the semifinals. And whoever wins that I'd be, I'd be glad to face them, um, especially, like, if I face Nico, then uh, that'll be a rematch. And I hope mm -hmm. that it's a good rematch, that uh, Nico can actually enjoy that this time, because um, he clearly didn't enjoy it last time. Uh, and otherwise, I'll face Jim, the commissioner of this league. Uh, I'm interested to, to see how that would go, because it, like, mm -hmm. if, if I've learned one thing from this league, is that I can actually 
face good competitors and do well against them and may, maybe even beat them. Uh, so just show like I can face a Jim or Nico or maybe even a, a Grant who I lost to in my playing match and still take them to the last question and still make it a close match. So based off mm -hmm. of that, I'm like, I, I want a good competitor. Um, and I do think that I could beat them and then get into the title picture again. All right. Well, with that case, you came up close this time, just didn't grab that ring, but you're, you're close to it next time coming around after this. But with that, we'll throw it back to the desk with Jim, who I'm sure has some words. Uh, you know, not many words from me, Tim. Uh, I let the competitors just speak on, on their, their match here. Uh, that's going to do it for us here for the Fandom TV Championship. Uh, until next time, everyone knows how much I hate doing plugs, so we're not going to do all of them. Uh, but why, go follow Eli on Facebook and stuff and watch him wherever. Watch Dedicated to Art Reacting to Schmodown stuff. And uh, watch Tim and I on Multiplex all over the place in Multiplex. Multiplex is awesome. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, go click away. You can click away now. We're done. Peace. <laughs>